Hello, bonjour, hi everybody, bonjour tout le monde. Uh, this is Sheila, Blue Water Oracle, and I am popping on to create a little video because it's the night before the solstice, the summer solstice. It is 10.30 at night. And it is unusual for me to still be bright eyed and functional <laughs> at 1030 at night. So I wanted to take advantage of it. I am here with my, I am bold, I am brave, I am amazing. This fun mug from the Women's Entrepreneurial Network uh, and Women's Networking Group that I'm a part of. And I have some a warm hot chocolate with some soy milk and a little bit of Grand Marnier for a nice evening beverage. Even though it's warm outside, it felt like a hot chocolate kind of evening to me as we transition into warmer weather. And I wanted to jump on because I really want to encourage you to set your visions for this next season, for this next phase. And this came up with me, for me, during my Oracle Cove online membership group. So in case you don't know, I have a membership group and I run it based on Facebook. Thankfully, it's great. And we do a written live, uh, so we do a written reading, Oracle guidance reading with Oracle cards each week. And we also do a live. So it was during the live, the last card of the live this past week leading up to summer after the strawberry full moon. And it was about setting your vision. And it was such high energy, so powerful, that I really keep wanting to remind people to do it. And one of the reasons that I understand this really well is because I find it hard to set my vision for the next phase. I get stuck in fear. I get full of doubt. I wonder if I can do it. I wonder what people will think all of that stuff and you might too or you might already be a master at setting your visions as you look ahead if you're a master at it if you are creating if you are inspiring if you are living your vision and creating it forward i want you to share share a tip share an insight share something that works really well for you so that we can expand together so as you may have seen on my Blue Water Oracle page, if you're on Facebook, and I'm going to put it on my website as well, I put a picture up and what I wrote on it was, see your dreams, clarify your vision, feel your desires, and create your horizon with the magic of this day. And I do believe there's magic every day, real magic, real magic around us. So in French, hope my French was okay. Visualisez vos rêves, clarifiez votre vision, ressentez vos désirs et créez votre horizon avec la magie de ce jour. Oui, je fais les lectures en français aussi, mais j'ai la tendance d'écrire plus en anglais parce que je suis plus à l'aise. But you can always contact me in French as well. So, Strawberry Full Moon, we had it last weekend this week all about this sort of vision asking us to do the visions as we move into summer tomorrow with the solstice so remember that those of us in the in the northern hemisphere this is the longest day of the year bright light big sun and we have a phase where we have feeling long days so we want to use that light we want to use that light from the full moon through to the summer shift to inspire our visions okay and if you're in the winter if you're heading into winter if you're in the southern hemisphere what I felt for you as I was thinking about doing this video is that it's going to be really sharp it's going to be really snappy it's going to be really fresh so you want to bring that energy in again as you visualize and look ahead. So how do you visualize? Well, you could do a vision board. Let me grab mine. So this is one I did earlier this year at an event where I read cards and then we created. 
So on it, I have your power, your gift, spread the joy, white magic, uh, le secret, the secret, like the book. It reminds me of that book, the secret, le secret, in French, because I wanted some French stuff and it was fun. Um, magie blanche, l'esprit, nature, fire, waterfalls, the water, of course, blue water, also like symbolic old stones here. Uh, it was a great grease. Um, the the I think it's where they used to do the theater in Greece and present so the old time uh, presenting and standing in forward of people and of course being an oracle there is that real connection with ancient Greece the the oracles of Delphi uh, pursue your passions with complete peace of mind I also have dance on there because I love that so this to me was a vision board representing sort of who I am and what I want to create. So I'm going to use that again as I look forward and now looking at a vision for what do I really want it to be a little bit more tangible. I need to be getting more tangible. So get out a notepad, pull out your agenda, whatever you need to do get a big bristol board this was on a big this was on a big board and look i even have fun stuff on the back so this was on a board and this was done with art will studio which is an art studio and teaching center in vaudreuil near where i live uh deirdre potash so that was a great experience a lot of fun figure out so vision board vision book I learned about doing vision books from Leanne Bridges, Designing Transformation, a coach. Um, also about our visions, about our goals, our objectives, um, trying to see our way forward. What are we really trying to bring to ourselves and into this world? And that was part of I, what I learned with Serena Miller in her Academy for Business Betterment. She's a business coach. So there's a lot of stuff in this vision. Where do you fit in? What is your vision? How do you get started? Well, what feels like it's working really well for you? What do you love about your life? And then what is not working quite so well? How could you see it differently? What would you love to bring in? Or would you love the next phase to feel like? What are goals and objectives and why? Why do you have those goals and objectives? If they're numbers about things, finances, sales, business accomplishments, why do you want them? Put in that vision, put in that depth. If they're about a relationship, what do you want it to feel like? Not only the person or where you might go or how you would travel, but what do you want it to feel like? So bring in your feelings and that is a behind the scenes version that gives us insight into our vision, that gives us insight into how we want the next phase to look. Okay, And that's something I learned through a contact of mine, Nikki Feeney, who's creating lots of new stuff and I'll be happy to share it with you as it comes out. So like you, I learn through other people and then part of my work as an oracle is to connect the dots and bring it forward to you. Working with spirit, working with humans, working with the divine and this lifetime. So what's your vision? What are you creating for this next phase? Whether it's your start of summer, whether it's your start of winter, what are you creating? Feel it, expand into it. And if you're getting that feeling that, oh, my life is just not quite what I planned, that's okay, that's okay. We all have stuff. Sometimes we don't talk about the stuff, but we have stuff. I'm still unloading boxes. I have a tooth that's got a bit of an adventure going on. So we have stuff. But when we don't have a vision, we can stay stuck in this stuff instead of helping ourselves to move forward. In a business, some business seminar I attended, uh, they talked about, this was quite a long time ago, they talked about how um, students studying at college 
those who put goals and objectives for their next, I think it was five years, those who wrote them down accomplished a significant percentage more of those things than those who had not written goals and objectives. So just the fact of identifying the vision, identifying the goals, putting energy there allows it to work for you. You don't have to know all the how, you don't have to know all the whens exactly, but you need to have an idea of the why and some idea of the what you want and then you open it up to say, oh, this or something better. A lot of uh, spiritual, metaphysical business people who believe in the idea of prayer and manifesting and, and working towards our highest good say that you can say this or something better. You may not know the whole plan, but you have ideas, you have tips, you have feelings, you have things that you want to bring forward. So. I invite you to take a little bit of time today and tomorrow, over the weekend, get some vision. Share, share, put an emoji when you've done a little bit. Put a lot of emojis when you've done a lot. Write out something that you identified in your vision. I'd love to hear, to see, to read what you're doing and just to know if this resonated. So again, I'm Sheila Bicknell, I'm Blue Water Oracle. And I am going to be around doing some lives on a solstice day. So if you're online, if you watch this, then I look forward to chatting with you. If not, we'll see each other another time. And you're, of course, more than welcome to get in touch for your own individual sessions so that we can see what you need to know right now so that you can create your own horizon with the magic of this day. Wishing you well. Till the next time, look forward to hearing about your visions. All the best. Ciao.